before we go ahead we need to make um, we change some permissions on a file uh, called default settings.php now what I did is I navigated to the HTML directory and I copied this file called default.settings.php um, to the same directory to a file called settings.php and I verified that this worked by navigating to this directory and now in the default directory you can see that there's two files called default.settings.php and another one which is the copy of this one called settings.php so the next step is to change permissions on this file I'm gonna give everybody write permissions and the next step is to create a directory within the default directory called files and we're gonna assign some permissions okay so doing ls minus l we can see those two files that were in that directory previously and the newly created directory called files with the appropriate permissions set so I'm going to clear the screen okay now the Drupal installation is technically finished what we need to do is go over to our client machine and put in the IP address of the server like we did before for Apache and PHP once you put in the IP address because we renamed the Drupal directory to HTML this is what we should see and we're going to start the installation by uh, clicking on this link okay before we proceed the system tells us that we need to install the PHP MB string extension for PHP so we need to go back to a server and I'm going to navigate to the top level directory as you can do print, print work directory and you can see you're in root okay so we're gonna do a yum install mb string for the extension required here and I'm also going to install a PHP MySQL package so PHP can interact with MySQL okay it's telling us that the package is not available Okay, so the PHP MySQL was downloaded successfully. Okay, as you can see, <coughs> what I did earlier, I misspelled uh, what we actually needed to do was put in yum install php hyphen mb string. So it's now going to download a package and install it onto our server. And this is going to allow us to proceed on to the next step of the installation. Okay. It is now complete. So if we refresh the page, okay, let's go back a step. And let's start again. What I just did is I restarted the Apache Web Server service by issuing this command. As you can see here, it stopped and it started again. So 
so the installation is going to let us proceed uh, so in here you put in your database name that you created while setting up MySQL database username was root and the database password was also root Okay, as you can see here, it's going to tell you to change the permissions on the settings.php file that we modified earlier. So we need to go back to our server and do so. To modify the permissions on the settings.php file, what I did is to navigate to this direct to the default directory where a file is contained. I done an ls minus l just to see what permissions were set on this file then I use this command to modify the permissions on this file and we can see the result here at the bottom all the uh, write permissions which is W were removed so we can now go back um, to our installation of Drupal okay so the site name you can leave the IP address in there put in a valid email address here the administrator account I'm going to use root again password I'm going to keep a short one just for to make it easy but as you can see it is recommended that you use a much longer one than that you can choose your default time zone uh, we're going to leave the default settings and at the bottom then we're going to hit save and continue okay so now we are ready to customize the website and you can do so by clicking on this link So we have some options, your account, you can create some con content, you can administer the con content and you can log out. I'm just going to navigate to my account and I'm going to navigate to administer. This doesn't really look pretty so I'm going to change the name of the site. Okay, from here we can navigate to these links. I'm going to choose to go to site configuration and site information. And I want to change this name to something that looks a bit better and makes more sense. So I'm going to call it my Drupal installation site. And now you can see the change up the top. So that's the end of this video and I'll see you next time.